Hi there, Mouseketeers! Princess Minnie here, and if you were following along with me yesterday, you might recognize that I am still in my snow day attire. The snow is falling! Oh, if only it were enough to keep us out of school for two days, then when I went back to work, I would only have Friday left. I mean, isn't that a dream schedule? That's it. But I'm, I'm just going to enjoy what I have. If you're a returning friend, welcome back. And if you are a new friend, I hope you like this video and stick around for all the other wonderful Disney content that you'll be getting very soon. You know, I'm, I'm doing as many videos as I can a week right now just to kind of catch up on all my content. Talking about catching up on content, guys. I have another Tokyo Kawaii Club. I just brought you one last week, and I'm going to keep bringing them for a while because I have a little bit of a backlog of these awesome mailers. I love this service. Um, the last one I got I thought was a phenomenal, phenomenal um, group of products. So we're going to just keep going and hoping. This is one of my older ones. So, I don't know, I've probably had this some, since around the summertime. The summer, I was really rocking and rolling with these guys when I first started my channel, and then around the summertime we were traveling a lot, we went to Disney World, not the parks, but we actually went to every single Disney World resort, which is like a bucket list item for us, it took us four days, and um, we did Disney Springs a lot, and then we went to Disneyland, we also did Vegas, so we had a lot, a lot of travel in the summer, so that's one of the reasons these mailers kind of took a back seat, and then there was a lot there was Vlogoween and then there was Vlogmas and so it's like it's not a reflection of the company at all I love this company I love what they do this is in case you did not know Tokyo Kawaii Club products direct from Tokyo Disney and also the Tokyo Disney store look how old this is guys they still had the Halloween bags which are adorable I really really dig them and they're still celebrating the 35th so you know okay I don't want to peek in here because I did feel something a little squishy. It doesn't look like an Ufufi though. Maybe it's a set of Ufufis. I don't know. I'm not sure. But let me see. I don't want to peek in here. Okay, we got bag number one. Features, well, I'll show you the side first. Chip and Dale in their normal form. And then Chip and Dale Unibear City Bears, which is like something that they do in Japan, which seems really cute. And then is this the other bag? Usually Michael sends a couple bags inside of bags, which I, I, I appreciate. Oh, no, I think there's just stuff. Wait, there is a smaller bag in here. Okay, so this bag number two, same version of the bag I already showed you. But look, did you notice Minnie looking up at the Evil Queen on that one? That bag is cute. And then bag number three is the original bag. I already showed you, but I mean, it's cool, right? I think I'm just going to see what enormous thing was in this bag. So if he sent me Halloween merch, that's totally cool. Halloween will be here again before we know it. I, I did a mini vlogoween this past year where I uploaded, I want to say I uploaded like four days a week. I kind of want to do a full vlogoween this upcoming year. What do you guys think about that? 31 videos? I think I can do it. And then take like November almost off, like do very minimal videos, and then do um, vlogmas. I think, I think it can be done. All right. What weird product? And I'm going to say weird. I'm not even saying it's in a bad way. Because, like, I'm weird, and I don't think it's bad. But, like, Tokyo has some weird products, like, some very unusual products, and that's why you get this mailer, to see, like, what kind of strange things are from halfway across the world. What what are we getting? Let's find out together. It's flat. What is this? Oh, it's, it's facing me. This is it. I don't know which way it goes. Okay. Uh... I don't think I have to defend what I just said that took you with some weird products. Exhibit A. What is this? I have no idea what on earth this is. Oh my god, it's so different. I'm gonna open it up. I feel there's almost no writing on here whatsoever. So even if I could read Japanese, that's a hard nope. But even if I could, I still don't think I'd have a clue because there's almost no writing on here. What is this? Oh, so I thought it was a little hard, even though it looked kind of like terry cloth. This is like a cloth. Now I like it. Now that I know that this is cloth, I do actually really like it. Like I said, weird and different and strange. They might have negative connotations for some people, but I'm weird and different and strange. And you probably are too, honestly. Like, you're watching my videos. Oh, something. Something with you. Um, <laughs> I say that with all love and respect, right? I would much rather meet, like, a weird, strange, different person than, like, a really boring human being. So, 
I got like a kiwi cloth. You could probably use it as like a face thing or whatever. But I actually think I would love to use this as a little dish dryer. Like we definitely hand wash our dishes. I already talked about this yesterday. So if you'd like to hear me go on about dishwashing, <laughs> very exciting stuff. Go watch Monday's video. But um, it's actually super soft. I think that this would be great to just like grab it, grab a wet, you know, bowl, I'll say a bowl and just dry it. You guys know how dish drying works, right? Like I don't have to like do a tutorial on that, but it features one of John Wise's absolute favorite Disney characters. So it's a kiwi. I don't like kiwis. They make me feel like very weird when I eat them. Not like allergic, but my mouth feels strange when I eat them. I don't know why. Maybe because maybe it's like a mental thing because kiwis are like hairy and I don't uh, No, Thank you. Um, and then over here, it's this funny, it almost looks like a sticker and it's like fruit, full, full fruit. It's so funny. And then here we have Donald Duck dressed like a kiwi, I want to say. I don't know. But it's high energy Donald and I will take him. That's John's favorite Disney character and one of my top favorite characters as well. He's so cute and green. Okay, guys. Okay. So what I do when I open my Tokyo Kawaii Club mailers is I do King of the Hill, which is so this is the first product. It's automatically the product to beat for my favorite product of the video. If you remember what it is. We talked about it a lot. This is the King of the Hill. Let's see if the next thing could beat it. This is something definitely plushy in it, so I am going to go with it, but it's definitely not a full size of Foofy. Um, let's see. I'll go with that next. What is it? <gasps> Holy crap, it's so cute! Oh my god! It's like a little, I think, like it's just like a bag charm. I mean, not, it's much bigger than a charm, right? But you could put it on a bag because it has a little thing. Oh my god, guys, I'm like, I'm swimming in Stitch. So he's definitely going to join his people in a moment, but he is darling. Oh my god, he's so cute. Very different reaction to this product, I think. Very different. Did you notice? Maybe it was only a slight, maybe I was like, really cool kiwi fruit, really cool stitch. No, I'm pretty sure there was a, a big difference in how I opened those two things. New King of the Hill, absolutely for sure. I mean, I'm not even gonna try to play you guys on that one. Like, obviously, I love how his ears are down. Usually I feel like his ears are more like this. Look how his expression changed. Stitch different emotion stitch like right I totally feel like the ears totally matter and I like this it's almost a little calmer looking Disney always seems to give like plushies this little tuft of hair and I'm not complaining I love it he's ridiculously adorable ridiculously adorable I did finally take stitch out of my preferences but this was stitch was one of my original preferences for this mailer and I'm so happy I have him he's so cute I have not seen anyone else open this guy oh I feel super special right now Okay, we gotta find a spot for him. Um, like, I kind of feel like right here, because there's nothing else right here, but I think, oh, I don't know. I think the reason there's nothing right there is because I kind of block it. Hmm. All right, it's a little cramped up there now, but I think it was worth it to get... Uh, my stitchies in there so I was just gifted this by Michaela yesterday in my in my pin magic mail video so that was super cool and now I just got this from Tokyo Kawaii Club I'm just swimming in stitches and I'm not complaining about that at all that would be a really fun swimming pool maybe a little scratchy but fun see I'm weird I'm like very weird you don't have to keep watching if you don't want I hope oh good you did okay cool all right let's continue there is something else in this bag. Can it become King of the Hill? Speaking of, actually, I don't like that show, King of the Hill, but I think Hulu thinks it's my favorite show of all time. Because, you know, do you ever watch Hulu? And it'll, like, if you run through a show, like, obviously, if, say, you're watching, like, I watch Bob's Burgers a lot. If I watch Bob's Burgers, it'll keep going. But eventually, you run out of episodes, 
and then it'll just like pick a new show to play for you and it always picks king of the hill it's not in my favorites it's not my preferences i don't know why ne hulu is just like got you kate you love king of the hill that's your thing and i'm like no it's not stop showing me king of the hill <laughs> but like i can't help it and i fall asleep to bob's burgers sometimes i shouldn't but i do i'm trying to fix that um and I wake up and King of the Hill's on. And I'm like, how many seasons of this show have I gone through so far in my sleep? But that's my preferred way to watch it. All right, let's move on. Oh, I think I have like a mystery box, even though it's fairly smooshed. Ooh, mystery box right away could put it in contention for something super fun because not only do you get the product, but you also get the mystery. So, this is supposed to look like a top hat. It's, it, it, it got a little smooshed. It got a little smooshed. But what can you do? It had to come all the way from Tokyo. It's in pretty good condition in that case for just being like cardboard or whatever this is. But it's very fancy looking. So I have no clue what's in here, but let's find out together. Oh, and it says from the D23 Expo in Japan. Oh, God, I'm feeling super special in this video. Oh, wow, that just popped right off. Oh good, I almost worried that there was nothing in here, but there, cause look how, this is pretty much what I saw, and then this was against the side. All right, this seems like unnecessarily large packaging, all I'm gonna say about that. What do we have here? It's so little. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a pin. Oh no, it's like a little charm. And I got Goofy. Little dressed up Goofy. Oh, he's cute. And it looks like he has some kind of gemstone down there. That actually kind of looks like, that, is that August's birthstone? John was born in August, I don't know. Now we're not a huge Goofy household. I love meeting Goofy at the parks. And actually some of the old Goofy shorts are very cute or the old Goofy cartoons are very adorable. But I think this would be like a cell phone charm, right? I don't actually, I'm too old for cell phone charms. I don't understand them, <laughs> but. I might just make this a very special little addition if I find someone I know who loves Goofy to a package that I send to them. I don't probably see myself keeping this, but I think this is a super cute item. So little stuff stitch right here is still King of the Hill. All right, what do we got? We're on to our last bag. Something's thick in here. I almost want to save that for last, but it also feels like there's a button and maybe a keychain. Oh, I might be a really good guesser. Okay, let's do the button. I can't wait, I love buttons. Okay, it's definitely a button, which I just updated my preferences and told Michael, keep those buttons coming. I said it way less weird than that, though. What do we got? Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cool. I liked it, and then I loved it. Oh, this is going to be a hard King of the Hill battle because it's a button, obviously. we already been through this. And it's Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween gear. Okay, fine. There's my Halloween item. Very happy about it, though, because <gasps> there's Maleficent! And not just Maleficent, but it's Maleficent and Dragon version of Maleficent. Like, what? Okay, so I liked this button when I saw Mickey and Minnie dressed up, but then when I noticed Maleficent and then even the Dragon version of Maleficent, oh my god, that really did it for me because Maleficent is one of my absolute faves, and especially Dragon Maleficent, I think. Now, the thing that throws me, but I think in a good way, I think it's funny, is Mickey and Minnie being like, oh my god, look, it's our girl Maleficent. She's so fun. We love her. Like, shouldn't they be terrified? In some of the Halloween merch, Mickey and Minnie are, like, really, really scared. And in some of the Halloween merch, they're like, yeah, we love this. It's great. So, <laughs> this is definitely the latter. <laughs> This button or stitch. I'm so torn about which should be king of the hill. I'm gonna put them next to each other and see what I think. Oh my god, guys, it's like a dead heat. I'm not even. I don't know. I'm gonna like hold off on that, see if the next thing can be like the best thing, and maybe I won't have to make this choice. Like, I know it kind of sounds crazy. Like, obviously it should be Stitch, right? But I really, really like that button. It's actually, it's actually like a really thick button, which sounds crazy. And it's like bronzy and pearlized. It's so, I don't know, it's so pretty. It's definitely not that, uh, the Donald thing we opened first. I'm glad we opened that first. It was funny and it was cute. It was not the most impractical thing in the world, but it's not like these two items. Okay, I am gonna open the keychain next. I, I'm pretty certain it's a keychain. I'm not a huge keychain lover. I like them. My problem with keychains is 
How many keychains do you need? I don't actually like to put keychains on my keys because I like my keys to be really light. I might have to change it if I ever find the right keychain now. All right, let's see. Wait, this doesn't feel, oh no, it's a keychain. I can feel it, all right. Huh. Okay. Part of me thinks this is gorgeous. I mean, all of me thinks this is gorgeous. But I don't really love this. And I'm going to show it to you and explain it to you, explain why, my thought process. Okay, so it is a keychain, it's this bell keychain, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love the pearls, I love like the little starburst, I love um, bell right here. I think this is beautiful. Why don't I like it then? Because I feel like when you, like, uh, okay, so the B is for bell, right? But I feel like when you have an initial like this, it should be your own initial. Like, I, my name doesn't start with a B, so I'm not going to be putting this on my keys like that. I don't know. Does anybody out there get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you'd want your own initial to look this beautiful. Like, okay, it's Belle. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I can find a way to put this on my Belle pin board because I do think it is beautiful. If anybody else has other ideas, let me know other than putting it on my pin board. Just a little let down by this item. I, like I said, I think it's beautiful. It's just... If it were on a K, we'd be talking. All right, I believe there is one item left. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is together. I think this is the front. I'm gonna let you guys actually get a chance to look at it. Oh, yes, finally. Everybody seems to get these little gold Mickey store, um, or Disney store Mickey head stickers. And I've never gotten one. And I was I was feeling real left out, but now, now I got one. Thank you very much, Michael. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What is it? Is it stationary? Oh, and it, and it does say thanks. Thanks. Oh, Th oh, thanks again. Thanks. I can read any handwriting, guys. Teacher, teacher, and uh, Michael has one of the one of the hardest to read I've ever seen. Um, and so it says thanks again, Michael. Really cute. I was I was wondering where where the thank you was. I thought it maybe it would be on this item. All right, let's open this up and find out what it is exactly. I did just update my preferences and tell told Michael I would like more stationery. Um, just because I feel like other people send me things and their stationery is always really cute and I want to be able to return the favor. This is such a good item. Oh my God. Guys, okay, this totally looks like a picture frame. But what it is, look, there's a little pouch. I haven't seen anybody get this. And all these little note pieces of note paper are inside. So, Oh my god, let me see. I'm going to take them all out. I'm going to take every single one of them out because it does look like there's maybe two varieties. Oh my gosh. Okay. Guys. So. This is a twofer. This is really cool. It includes this beautiful note paper, which I really, really, really love. It's so, so cute. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to take this piece of paper to Disney World and get Mickey and Minnie to sign this and frame this. Wouldn't that be so cute? And then it also has a second um, type of paper. There's fewer of these, but it looks like this. And look, it's Chip and Dale who seem crazy popular. If you want to see some Tokyo Kawaii Club mailers, like if you're like, I just want to spend my entire day watching Tokyo Kawaii Club, go, after this video is over, go check out Beth from the Collection Years Club. And Chip and Dale make me think of her because she loves Chip and Dale. You will see so many Chip and Dale pieces of merch in her Tokyo Kawaii Club. I actually commented to her recently. I was like, I can't believe Michael can keep finding you Chip and Dale merch. Like, there's so much of it. And she thought the same thing. But look, in the background, there's also Donald Daisy and Goofy. How cute. You could also get characters to sign this, I think, too. Oh, my God. That is darling. I'm so happy I have this stationery. But wait, guys. There's more. So you get to keep it in this little pouch, which I will do. But then look, I said this looks like a picture frame. It is a picture frame. When you're done with it, you can pop these out and it'll stand like this. It's a little picture frame. How darling is that? Oh my gosh. And oh, this one even has Donald right there. Love it. This is such a great item. 
Alright guys, I'm gonna call it exactly what I had hoped earlier happened, so a little extra pixie dust, right? This item beat both the button and the stitch, which were all phenomenal items. This product wins as king of the hill for me because it is, first of all, two products in one. It's the note paper and it's the picture frame, which is super cute and cool. And I love this. This is one of my favorite things I've seen in any Tokyo Kawaii Club. And there is so much of it. I don't know if you can tell, but there might, there's probably like at least a hundred sheets of paper in here. There, like, so I am going to be able to write cute notes for so long like this is going to just bring so many smiles to my face and hopefully some smiles to other people's faces as well so that has to make it the best item oh it's so fun to end on the best item one time i did a mailer and the first item i pulled out was king of the hill and nothing could beat it so this was so exciting it, I, there were so many exciting moments of this i love this mailer i love this service i keep thinking like man kate you don't open these right away is that a sign you should maybe just cancel your subscription or skip a few months but no, because every time I open them, it brings me such joy. This is such a great service and a great mailer, and I know you pay a lot for what you get. But what, also, what you're getting is some is for things you can't get in, like in other ways. Like, yeah, I guess you could have a personal shopper pick this up for you, but then again, you don't get the mystery, and I really appreciate the mystery. Sometimes you get some weird, strange products, but sometimes you get really amazing things. And I would say, I just, I don't know. I love, love, love three of the items. I love this. I love the button. I love the stitch. I liked the goofy charm. That's really cool. And it'll be a nice gift to give someone. I liked actually, which surprised me, that Donald Kiwi cloth. I think I, I, think I really will use it. Um, and I think it's cute. I don't love it, but I like it. The thing I was most disappointed in is the bell keychain, which might have been other people's favorite item. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I think that I will probably put on my bell pin board or some, something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll even mount it to like a picture frame. That could be a cute idea because I am hoping to get my picture with both Belle and Beast this, um, this next upcoming trip that I have planned. So that could actually be awesome. It's just right now, I'm not feeling it as much, if that makes sense. But I think it is a great item. So none of the items were really duds. None of them were bad. None of them were, like, awful. Um, they were all really nice. And, again, a little weird, some of them. <laughs> but great and fun and brought a smile on my face. So I highly recommend this subscription service. And um, thank you so much for following along with me. I'll have a lot more of these coming up very soon. So let me know if you want them to keep coming. Tell me what your favorite item was from the service and if you've thought about getting this service. It is not that expensive. It just is expensive for what you get. But again, what you get is mystery and joy and unique products. So you have to weigh that out for yourself if that's worth it. I think it is. You can make your own call. Thank you so much for following along with this weirdo right here. And I'll see you real soon.